Welcome back. I think mission five is gonna be our mission. We get 12 more victory points, that puts us to 80, and we will have won the long campaign using the advanced rules. So, um, first of all, I wanna thank everybody for getting you this far. I think from a rules perspective, I know I screwed up the uh, regroup rule and I did put a, inserted a video after the first one to explain that, so I know I explained that wrong. And just the fact that I was doing that wrong, I only made it harder for me instead of easier. So I hope that I demonstrated how you can win and give some good strategies with this. Uh, I've been doing great, in fact. Um, I'm actually going to definitely use the staff erosion table the next time I play. I also think it'd be interesting to start later on, like 43 late. Um, I've done two video series and I've won during 43 mid both times. If I do the long campaign, I won here. I have yet to do any of these seasons. And I love the idea of a long campaign. I mean, that just appeals to me way more than a short one. But you know, like if I started at 43 late, you got four experts and six green. Um, that's an interesting start. And then if you get down here, you have eight green, 12 green. I mean, my goodness, that's, that's a lot. And so, um, you know, could I win given these conditions? And I only get 16 OP at the end, and I'm dealing with some escorts all the time. And uh, what does M even stand for? Oh, it's the Mustang. And so they are escorting every single turn in 1945. There is no leaving ever. I mean, that's just um, insane. It would be a very interesting one to do. In fact, I might... I've never done map four yet, so it might be fun to try. Uh, 1945 doesn't give me much either. Of course I get rockets. Um, I do get armor, but it costs a lot for armor, and I'm only getting at most 16. Uh, and if I start in 1945, I don't have experience points to spend, so I might roll a six, for example. That's awful. Um, the... Uh, I mean, I guess I only need 20 victory points. I mean, that's better, right? Because it's not like the 40 that I need right now. Uh, 43 late looks very fun because you need 60 victory points. 43 late has some awesome numbers. 20, uh, 24 OP. I mean, that's, that's some really fantastic numbers to be getting um, to get 20 to 24 OP. So um, that's good. Now, in 1945, by then, you have the ME-262, but it costs two. Uh, the one thing is, is they have the breakaway ability, and um, they're prohibited from entering any approach box unless it's tail low. That's always an interesting one. But uh, the ME-410 is just better uh, than the JU-88. And you get to add, if you put cannons on them, they get to join the JU-80. So you could just do a cannon fest with them. And the ME-410s are better at uh, using rockets, or, or uh, sorry, dropping bombs, than the, uh, than the BF-110s. But anyways, I'm not going to belabor this. Uh, I do think it would be interesting, in fact, maybe even harder to start here than it is to do a long campaign. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to roll dice. And you may have noticed that the map is a lot smaller because I've already made a decision. Uh, I rolled a seven there, which is map three, but I am going for the win. And so I am changing. So we're just gonna put a minus here. And so I'm just gonna write down seven every time. So we're gonna change it to map two. And yes, I did a calculation, there's 12 Bombers here, um, that's 24 victory points. If it's an inbound mission, which it's going to be right now, so I'm gonna spend seven more to make it inbound. And then I'm gonna spend seven more to max out my OP, which will be 16, map two. And I'm spending those 16 the way I always do, BF-110s, rockets, on each, JU-88s, 
with cannons on each. And that right there is 10 points. I have a two OP penalty, so that means I have four to spend. So one, two, three. And I wish I had my fourth expert, and I don't. It's a Zweigert, um, Schmidt, Bauer, Buttbargain, and Grimm. Grimm's injured too. So I guess I'm going to bring in Mac again. Okay. Uh, so that's 10, 14, 16. I think that is everything for me. I don't get any more. So I'm not going to get cannons from my guys. That hurts a little bit because these guys, when you get to pick the damage you do, well, let me make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if I put him back, I can get cannons for these three. That's better. I'm not going to bring out a veteran. Let's just use, put cannons on my experts. So there's no swarm for them. Um, interesting. Okay, so now we're going to roll for the escorts. Doesn't matter. I'm spending seven. <laughs> okay. And now we get to this. It's map two, inbound, page seven. Page seven. I rolled a two. I have one damage on this bomber right here. And it's two wing damage. Uh, rolling for anchor, I rolled a 10, there's no anchor. Rolling for sun, I rolled a two. The sun is high nose. Rolling for tactical points, I rolled a nine. Start with five. Rolling for flight limit, I rolled a six. I'm gonna spend seven. To make it 12. Boom. <laughs> and there's no contrails on this map. Okay, so um, I spent one, two, three, four. I spent 35 XP out of my 63. Holy cow. I have so much XP still. Um, okay, so we're on turn one. Uh, I'm going to do a similar thing where I think I'm going to use my experts. So my BF 110s are going to be the swarm guys, and then my experts are just going to come in oblique. Um, so with that being said, I do have a sun high over there, and my rocket guys need to come in low. And same with the Ju 88s. Everybody's coming in tail low. Uh, there's no real advantage to coming in from a different direction. Uh, we're gonna go. Low. Flank. No. We're gonna go low nose. Okay. So uh, that's turn one. Now we move to turn two. Uh, there's no cohesion or anything necessary yet. So now we're going to go up and unleash the hounds. So they're going to go there. Um, oh, by the way, uh, during the uh, regroup, I would have done a regroup. So that would have been 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. So we're back up to 19 tactical points case we need them. And then these three guys are going to go flank high. Okay, we're going to do our rockets. Man, just think, that other map was so big, it went all the way over to here. Um, and then look at those sheets up there. It went all the way up to those sheets. Um, that's crazy, crazy. Okay, so... Coming back 
to here. We're doing rockets. I'm going to choose this formation there. And then what's my other formation going to be? Uh, that one there, I think. It's hard to say. Um, I mean, if I'm coming in from the tail, I probably want to attack there. I got JU-88s hitting the tails. You know what? I'm going to hit the two up front. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're going to start with this one. All right, seven black is right there. And then the five is a one hit. So I'm going to grab my damage cups to a hit on there. Okay, next roll. Uh, four red is way off. So if I'm looking at the lead bomber, where the R10 is, it's one, two, three spaces down. So R10, so one, two, three spaces down. So it's right here. That is inside of the element, so that's good. Uh, there's no damage done. Next one. Uh, that is awful. Um, that's off the map. And the last one. Okay, that's a good roll. A nine and a seven. So it's going to detonate here. And the seven is two damage. So I'm going to damage the lead bomber. So... We have to roll, I rolled a six. So we have two on the wing and one on the gunner. Okay, so that's it for that. Now we're gonna go here. I'm gonna just move them over. Okay, a six black is two behind. It's gonna detonate there, but no damage. Uh, those are doubles. That's bad. Would have been a really nice roll otherwise. A six and a four. A red six is three behind, so that's off the map. That's awful. And nine and a seven. This should be an excellent one. It is. It goes there, and we do two damage. And I'm going to hit this one here. So we have an engine and a fuselage, like that. Okay, um, now we go to the ju 88 So there's six of them. And I have to start here. So there's an out of ammo already. Not a good start. Next one, that's out of ammo. An awful start. I got cocky and said I was going to win this mission. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm really getting my butt handed to me. So that's a miss. Uh, that's a hit. Finally. Uh, turret or a fuselage. I guess I'll take a turret damage. And then my last one is a miss. So three of my JU-88s are out of ammo already. That was an awful, awful start. Okay, uh, cohesion check. I needed a one. This one detonates. So we have a loose element. Uh, we go over here. I shouldn't do the detonates yet. Four. Nothing happens, but the detonates, two of them, is going to cause a kaput there. Then one, two, three, four, five. I do get a loose. And then the two detonates are going to cause this one to fall. So we do have a bomber out. And... With that bomber out, we have our first fallen bomber, 
and we get one experience point for the staff. Okay, I'm frustrated. I will admit to that. Um, but we now move to turn three. We're on the move step. And I think, so that particular bomber has just one wing and one gunner damage. I'm gonna send Schmidt after that bomber. Get two victory points, I think. So we have a whole bunch of BF 110s, and they're all going to approach Bubble. We're doing an all out attack. I gotta do some damage here. Uh, these two are coming in high. from the oblique, and um, we have some cannons to deal with. So the JU-88s are gonna hit that one in the back. I only have three left. First one's a miss, second one's a miss, third one's a hit. I'm not doing very well here. So I'll take the two elevator damage, like so. Okay, and now we get to do our attack. Um, I might as well go after, well, this is a loose element here. So we have a three, a four, and a two, which becomes a two, three, and one. That's a two, four, and two. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we have to do cohesion check. So that was for this. Now we come over here. This one, oh my gosh. This bomber falls out. So we actually have two that dropped out. And this becomes loose. Fallen. Another staff experience. And then we go here. Uh, that one becomes kaput. That changes things. So this becomes a one a one and a one. That is pretty sweet. There's only two of them to go after. Uh, this one I can't do real easy uh, because the lead bomber is down. Uh, this one I can do fairly easy. So I would have a one and a two there. Then of course I have more breathing room here and there. Although there I don't have a loose formation, so things are harder. So I do have a lot of breathing room here. So I'm gonna come in one, one and two, like so, and then uh, but Fargan's going to come in evasive there, and then in another wave, I'm going to come in three and one with uh, Bauer coming in evasive there, like so. Those are two different waves. Just doing them all at once to save some time here. Uh, the uh, the BF one tens are level and climbing, and then uh, we're going to climb roll towards the sun, and those ones are all going to be level and climbing as well, and climb roll towards the sun. So everybody's climbing towards the sun. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, start with this group down here. I'm gonna do the evasion check for Buttfargan, and I get to avoid it. So um, remember, the experience points only matter for Buttfargan, so I'm gonna let him go first. So he's oblique. He's coming in high oblique. He has a four, and this makes it a three. 
So high oblique, three evasive. He just progresses two, so he's gonna go one, two, like that, which is fine. He actually moves into a really low zone. Oh, I forgot, I get swarm, brata, and position. And so um, he is going to use swarm, and we're gonna use both if we have to, because uh, there's no experience to be had with the other guys. So one wing or two turret. Uh, we're going for experience points here, so let's go for the kill. And of course we don't get it. Um, and so he's gonna use the other swarm. And so we now have an engine. I'm gonna go ahead and do the engine. So nothing happens there. So now the question is, is does Buttfargan use his abilities? This thing is not close to blowing up. Uh, we have a lot of turns left, so he's not going to use his abilities. Let's see what happens. So we have four coming from the tail. So I'm just trying to reach and grab four cards. Okay, i put away this oblique card. All right, so let's start with this BF-110. He's sitting on a three, and that and that cancel out. So it's a three level. Three, it's a hit with a, he gets hit with a ride the tail. So he's gonna cancel the hit, and yeah, we're gonna get out of dodge there. So let's do the next one. He's got a two, ride the tail. So we're going to cancel the hit on him, but he does a hit on his bomber. It's a wing for four. That's a good hit. Okay, so next we're going to do this guy here. He's a four. Level four is two hits. Maybe I wasn't being smart. Next one. Level four is a hit, and then he hits the bomber. With a wing hit, and so that's two on the bomber. All right, so that wasn't super good. Drawing four. Okay, we're gonna start with this guy. He's on a two. Uh, he takes a hit. That's not good. And these are bad hits. I mean, these are just awful hits. This one's climbing. He takes two more hits. So, I mean, we're going to lose so much. This one, if climbing or climb rolling, after resolving, continue fire, spend one TP, or exit. Uh, I will spend the TP. He looks like he might survive. And then last but not least is my evasive guy who makes it. And that would be the butt fargan. So... He makes it. Okay, um, same deal. We got going on over here. Uh, we're gonna draw the collision check. It is a no impact. And um, we get all the benefits again. We're gonna start with Bauer. Oblique high. And he's sitting in a four. And it becomes a 3-2. Uh, okay, so he's going to have no ammo. So he's going to make it count. So he's going to do a hit. <clears throat> and this is an elevator of three. Uh, we're taking the elevator. Because that is a guaranteed kill. So one of our no ammo guys can go after that. Um, okay, so I'm not going to use Swarm. Uh, Bauer is out because he's out of ammo. So what we gotta do is use his skills. So he has a timing. So we're gonna use that next. 
let's do a timing. Um, two wing or four wing? Ooh. Let's go for four wing. I just rolled a 10, so it's gonna fall out. The, we actually would have destroyed it. Um, so I'm not gonna put a token on it to show that it's a guaranteed kill. Um, we do get a Fallen and Bauer gets an experience point and he did not use Swarm. So we're happy there. Uh, the last thing I need to check is he progresses to, I forgot to say where they're going, they're all going to the, the sun. So he would go there. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw for the VF 110s. I'll do the one that doesn't have anybody to attack. He is coming in from the tail and it's a zero plus one. So he would have done a hit. So that part is actually sort of cool, but he doesn't hit anything. Now we're gonna go to the four there. So that four becomes a one and then the BF 110s make it a two. So we're doing a tail level two for all the BF 110s. Let's start with the first one. Tail level two. He takes two hits and he does a hit. So I'm gonna be sacrificial with him and let him take both the hits. And then he's gonna do a hit, which is a fuselage. And we're just gonna use the swarm. And it's gonna be two extra hits. I don't care if it ends this. And I drew two fuselage. So the gunner would be dead on this guy. And now we move to the next one. Next one is a level two tail. I'm gonna cancel the hit and then do a hit. And we drew an engine. This might be it, and it is. So this thing goes down. I have to put a token on that one. And it's fallen. So we get an experience point for the staff. And then the last guy, it's now a one, a tail level one. Oh my gosh, he goes out of ammo. So no damage, but he's out of ammo. Actually, no, it's a tail level zero because this would have become kaput. So yes, tail level zero. So you would have taken a hit. Uh, but that's fine because we can cancel a hit and we're done there. Okay, so now continuing fire. We're going to do uh, the BF-110 in the back that wasn't damaged. So we got friendly fire. I rolled an odd. Let's us skip. That's good. So he makes it just fine. So now we're gonna do the one that's really damaged. He's sitting on a zero. Uh, he takes a hit. Okay, now we're gonna do the two that are undamaged. This one, nothing happens. Next one, nothing happens. Okay, and then I have one more I need to draw for my evasive bower here, who is out of ammo. Let's not forget that. He, of course, is gonna be fine, but he's out of ammo. And that wraps up this particular turn. So now we move to turn four. And so I made a mistake. All this stuff needs to go down one. Okay. Um, I can already tell you this out of ammo JU-88 will go ahead and take out that bomber that does not need any more introductions. So we can get our first two victory points. 
10 more to go. Okay, um, I made a, uh, just a huge mistake trying to attack like I did, but I don't know. Let's see how this plays out. Um, I felt like I had to do it just because my JU-88s just seem to not do anything. Um, we have two bombers there that need to be pursued, and there's nobody to pursue them at the moment. Uh, so let's start with move. I do have a BF-110 here, so I'm going to send him in pursuit of one of them. And these BF-110s have to move up. Buttfergen's going to move up. This guy's going to move up. Bauer, he's out of ammo. And our two out of ammo guys will go into the parking lot. And so uh, now we got to do a whole bunch of damage checks. Let's start with from the left. Okay, he's going into the fuel box. This one has a ton of damage. We're going to start with the rudder. He passes. Fuselage. No, wing. Passes. Fuselage 6. Passes. Fuselage 5. Oh, come on. He was going to do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, engine 3. Fuselage 2. Okay, this one survives. Those two are surviving. Uh, fuselage 3. Engine 5. He's going to the engine box. Alright, so three of them are out. Okay, so now we do the JU-88s targeting this one. That's a hit. We have a rudder. I'm going to do the wing for two. Okay, next JU-88. Just drop the die. Oh, all the way across the floor. One second. Okay, next JU-88. That's a hit. I'm going to go for the engine. And I got it. So we've got another one that's down. And that one's fallen. And we get another experience point. Last JU-88 is a hit. Going for the cockpit. So that's three damage. That's eight damage total. Okay, the JU-88s did really well that turn. Cohesion check up here. Uh, it's loose, which is good. We finally got that element loose. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that one stays fine. Three over here, nothing, and then that one's gone. So, um, okay. So I have two, or I have two bombers I need to go after. We're moving to turn five. I have two bombers there I need to go after. One. Right now, if I want to guarantee my interception. So I have three BF-110s. I guess I will pursue with the BF-110. And then the other ones are going to come in high. These guys are going to come up. Well, hold on, I actually could do another swarm. That would be tough. And then Bauer, of course, is out of ammo, but he'll at least go there. And 
Let's do the three GU88s. I have no choice but to go after this one. That's a miss. Second one. That's a hit. Uh, but he's out of ammo. So we got another one that's out of ammo. But he hit. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I do two damage, he's destroyed. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So the JU88 just destroyed that plane. Gives us two more victory points, which we needed. And the last one has to roll here. And that's a hit. So I'm going to go after the elevator damage of two. Okay, cohesion, nothing. Okay, nothing, and nothing. All right, so no cohesions. Um, this would be a two. That is a one, it's really nice. This is a two, that's also a one. So we're gonna come in, uh, nose high, and we're going to uh, dive roll towards this flank with both of them. So basically, to sum them both up, they're high, and we're gonna dive roll this way. I am running out of battery power on this. Again, trying to wrap this up. So I'm gonna draw two nose cards. And uh, I do have the sun, so let's not forget that. I'm gonna start with this one up here. He is, uh, this by the way would not be kaput anymore because he's been passing his checks. But he's still sitting on a zero and then of course he adds plus one. So nose high one. He has to do a collision check, which is a proximity two. And I barely, barely passed that. Um, and then he does a hit. So drawing for the hit, it is a wing and to two wing damage. So he progresses two. So he's gonna go one, two, like that. Then we start here. He's a nose high two, so he has to do a collision check. It's a exit for one TP. So um, we will pay the TP, and then uh, he has to go to the nose, or the tail. So he'll go tail low. And at least he doesn't have to do a continuing fire now. So those are the nose checks. We draw one continuing fire card. He's sitting on a two. It doesn't, he is dive rolling, so he gets the skip. So that's good. So he goes there. We got lucky with the dive roll. And that attack is over. So now we move to turn six. Okay, I have to intercept right now if I'm going to intercept. And so I'm going to I mean, if I send Buttfargan after him, I will get two victory points, but I'm going to send the BF-110 after that one. I may not win this because I chose to go to map two. That may have been, I may have gotten too cocky. This is going to move up. This is going to move up. Uh, Buttfargan is going to attack. And let's do... The JU-88, we have to go there. That's a miss and out of ammo. Last one is out of ammo. So the JU-88s are done. They did no more damage. That stinks. So cohesion check. This one does go to kaput. Cohesion check. This one goes to kaput. Cohesion check. This one goes to kaput. So we have three of them in kaput. Perfect time for Buttfargan to go in for the kill. So with that said, Buttfargan does need to go in for the kill. So we have 
a zero here. We even have a zero here at this point. We have a zero here and a zero here. This one has four damage already. The JU88s are done, so I could go here, but that's only that's actually a one. Um, I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. Uh, do I go after a bomber that hasn't been touched? No, I shouldn't. I'm going to go after something easy. This one already has four wing damage. If I can just get him to fall out with six wing damage, then one of my no ammo guys can go after him. And uh, that's my only shot. So I have to uh, do this or otherwise I'm just not gonna win this. So I have a level zero determined. I take a hit, so I have two luck. So I just used one and I do a damage. And right there's the two wings that I was looking for. So let's do that. Okay, so he's up to six. And he will go ahead and use one of his timing abilities. And we're looking at... I'm going to do this for... Make it seven. And then he's going to use his aim with that timing ability so he gets a second hit. I have two engine damage. I'm going to choose... The six, and of course it falls out. Um, actually, that's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. All right, so Buttfargan used half of his abilities. So uh, mission five, he used his luck, his timing, and his aim so far. And we're going to draw a continuing fire. This one has fallen. He also gets... An experience point and our continuing fire card reveals to us that he is doing great so we'll go there okay so that bomber we know is a dead bomber so we're gonna just use one of our out of ammo guys bring him home safe and get ourselves two more victory points. We're halfway. Okay, so, um, oh, when Buttfargan took that hit, okay, that was, he had the sun. I forgot to roll for that. Okay, so now we go to turn seven out of 11. Uh, we have every bomber covered so far, I believe. One, two, Three, four, yes. Okay. Um, we have four guys in the parking lot. We have BF-110 that's going to come in low. A BF-110 that's going to come in low. But Fargan makes it back. Uh, we're going to roll for cohesion. This one passes. This one passes. And this one passes. So not good. Okay, so now we have some attacks to do. Uh, I'm looking at this one right here. So I'm thinking I'm going to come here. Evasive? Yes. And then I'm going to come here. Direct. So let's do the evasive tail first. So he is low. This is a uh, four, three, two, one, low. So nothing happens. Uh, now the one coming in, he's gonna roll left. Yeah, I think he has to. We wanna get to the sun. He's gonna climb left. 
So this one's coming in low. He's in a two, but he adds one to make it three. So he's just gonna progress one, does no damage. And now we draw two continuing fire. First, the direct guy, no good. It's a hit. And it's a bad hit. So a lot of good that's doing me. The evasive one. He is claiming. I have to draw another card. And the good news is there's no damage there. So he returns in the evasive box. And we're moving on to turn eight. So, but Fargan's going to approach low. We have, this one's moving up. Let's roll for recovery. I failed recovery. So a BF-110 is out. And cohesion. This one fails. This one fails. That one passes. So we're coming in oblique. I would like to pick on that one right there. So I'm gonna come in there. That's a zero. So he's got a low oblique zero attack. Low oblique. He has to do a collision check. Drew a proximity, so that means he has to roll a die. Roll a five. I believe that means he's taking a hit. A veer. All fighters in the space break away to the tail. So I'm gonna break away to tail low, so uh, nothing happens. A lot of good that did. Turn nine, but Fergan moves up to low. BF-110 moves. Cohesion. This one passes. One, two, three, four, five. This one passes. And that one passes. So we're not making any progress. The cohesion checks are just not helping us. We have two turns left. Uh, now we have one turn left. So do I attack? No. I'm going to go up to level. This one's going to attack. Let's do some cohesion checks. Um, that one would have been there. I don't think it mattered. So let's roll. It's a four. This one goes to kaput. That one passes. So we're going to come in with this BF-110. I have a kaput, so I'm going to go here. So that's a high nose at a one. A high nose one. He does a hit on the bomber. And it's another wing damage, but he takes a hit. And I didn't say where he was going, but he would go here, like so. Drawing continuing fire. He's sitting in a two, three, he's sitting in a zero. So he's gonna actually take another hit. Okay, uh, next turn, last turn of the game. Buttfargan is going in. I'm just gonna go ahead and resolve these. This resolves that, does not resolve that. I'm not gonna win this one. All right, so we go here, nothing happens. Go here, nothing happens. And go here, it doesn't matter. So it's up to Buttfargan to 
take something out. So um, I could have, just as a precautionary measure, send all four of those out of ammo guys to intercept. So just assume that I did that. Um, if somehow Buttfargan knocks him out, but he gets destroyed. Uh, but it's not good. In fact, I thought I was going to win with this map. Uh, so, um, this is a level one approach. Tail. So, tail level one. Uh, so, I take a hit. I have a luck. I do a hit. I'm going for damage. So, I just took three damage for him. I still have... Remember, Buttfargan still has another timing and a name. So I'm going to get three more hits here. Or two more hits. The timing for one and then the aim for another. So here's the timing. And I'm definitely going for this fuselage hit here. So there's three more. And then that's a zero and that's a one. And that just blows. That absolutely blows, but I'm going to do this, and we got a hope, and we did. So we got the five. This elevator of three is a guaranteed destroy. So remember I said that my out-of-ammo guys went to intercept? Well, that was a smart move. So that just got me two more victory points. So we're up to eight. So now we're done. All this damage on the board goes away and we get nothing to show for it. All right, but Fargan does not intercept anybody. He does return with a heroic performance. He gets another experience point, by the way, for knocking that thing out. And just cleaning up this is tail, this is nose. Bringing this down. I have 17 tactical points. And here's the first one. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. Um, let's start with the highest stack guy first. Let's see, we got an engine, a turret, a gunner, and a gunner. So let's start with the engine. Okay, he gets two tactical points for that. I'm going to give him three more. So he's up to five. Roll for the sun. There is no sun. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and come in high. Um, with the gunner gun, it's a minus one. So he's actually coming in high nose zero. And so he does a hit. We really need these to pay off. So he takes wing damage. And it's not enough. Okay, so... What do we do next? We do have the gunner. So I'm gonna come in level rear. Uh, okay, the turret damage. The damage marker in this damage box grants an attack advantage each turn. Level attacks benefit from neither advantage unless both turrets are inoperable. Okay, so I have to roll to see which turret was damaged. So I rolled odd, so that means the low turret's damaged. So that means I can come in low and get an advantage. So um, I will do level low. And so what I think that means, so I get an attack advantage each turn. Which attack advantage would that be? Is it, I mean, can I take swarm? I don't think I can take swarm. I mean, does it, do I get position? 
Oh. See page three of this booklet. Each time a damage marker is roll a die, when a turret is, it grants the player an attack advantage. If the fighter is evasive, the advantage cancels the hit. If determined, a hit is canceled. So it's just like the sun. It acts exactly like the sun. All right, so I'm okay with that. So it's just like coming in with the sun attack. So tail low. Um, Two, right? Yes, because the gunner's dead. So I just take a hit, but I can cancel that, and I do. So nothing happens. So now I'm going to spend another tactical point. We're going to come in tail low again. Two, and I do not cancel that one. I rolled a seven, not even knowing what it was, and I'm going to spend another one. Let's come in tail low two. All right, I do a hit. Come on, make it count. Elevator three, boom. Right there it is. So bomber is destroyed. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. We're up to 10. Okay, so then uh, I do take a hit. And he goes into the fuel box. Like so. All right. Next guy. Let's try this one. He's got an engine and a wing. So let's roll for the engine. Nothing. Let's roll for the wing. Nothing. So he starts with two. I'm going to give him two more. So he's at four. We are going to come in high TP. And that's going to be a one. So nothing happens. Then we're going to do an elobal approach. That's going to be a three. He takes a hit. Oh, I need to roll for the sun. It was a seven. Ugh. Okay. It's a cockpit hit. I did not survive that. So the bomber gets away. So that wasn't good. So this goes to the tail, this goes to the nose. Um, I just realized I have uh, Schmidt sitting here. So let's quit fooling around. I need two more victory points to get my 12 and win this thing. So we have a wing two and a gunner of one. Okay, rolling for the wing. Okay, so we're gonna do a battle. Uh, I'm gonna roll for the sun, no sun. I will come in high TP. Okay, so high no zero. I take a hit, I do a hit. Now this is Schmidt who I think was completely fresh. Yes, he was. So we're gonna use the luck, the timing, and the aim. So he does a normal hit, the aim will give him a second hit, and the timing will give him a third hit. So we're doing three hits and I have cannons. We're making sure we win this thing. So I got two fuselage hits, I'm taking the cockpit. Roll for the cockpit, nothing happens. Second hit. I'm taking the fuselage. Oh, I was, I mean, I'm, just so you know, I'm spending 10 tactical points. <laughs> I'm winning this. And then uh, the last hit, 
uh, it doesn't matter which one I pick. So if I go rudder, uh, I'll explain in a second. You calculate fuselage, cockpit, elevator, gunner, rudder, and turret. 